You would never guess what this woman does to soothe this elephant. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. One of the most inspiring relationships that you will get to see is one that an animal and its caretaker shares. The love and bond that an animal lover shares with animals is something that is truly praiseworthy. So this animal caretaker right here decided to try new and exciting ways to keep her animals happy. So what was this new method she thought of? She would swipe the elephant's backside gently with a cloth, relaxing and calming the giant one. So where exactly does this amazing animal caretaker and her lovely elephant stay? These two actually reside in Chiang Mai, Thailand. This is actually an elephant nature park and has been designed to preserve, protect and take care of elephants in need. This facility has been standing for over 20 years, offering a safe haven and a place of comfort for these elephants that have been rescued from difficult and bad situations. The sanctuary also has visitors to come and see these majestic elephants. So what is the history of this elephant sanctuary that is home to several elephants that have been saved from hardships? Well, this park had been established all the way back in 1996. The co-founder's name is Lek Chayer. Ever since it has been opened, the sanctuary is home to about 200 elephants whom the staff has been taking good care of. These elephants that have been taken in this place have come from a place of emotional trauma and abuse. This sanctuary does not discriminate or judge these elephants, no matter how bad their origin may be. They take in all the elephants so that they can live a life free of abuse and harm. One of the most important goals of this place is to give them a home that is danger-free. We have to heal them with love, Shire had said when asked by interviewers about their approach with these elephants. She also stated that they try to instill a sense of trust among the people working there and the elephants. We have to let nature rehab them, make them feel that this is a safe place for them," Shayer expressed when she spoke to the interviewers. Trust is the first thing that we have to go and do, she further added. This is the main focus of the sanctuary when it comes to their steps in trying to improve and rehabilitate these emotionally distraught elephants. They want to make sure that they do not dwell on their bad past, but instead focus on the blessings that can come with living in the future. So what does this sanctuary aim to achieve and what exactly is the main purpose of being established? Shayer had revealed that one of her main goals with working for the sanctuary is to breed as many elephants that they possibly can to create a population that does not have the knowledge of cruelty and captivity like their parents. Her goals finally became fruitful when Fa Mai, their first freeborn elephant, got delivered in the year 2009. It was truly a happy moment for them. She is our first born free, she never suffered in a training crush. She's the most happy elephant, the sanctuary wrote when the new baby elephant was born. They could not contain their excitement and added the caption that further read, We're so happy to see our beautiful little girl growing up amongst love and freedom. They made sure the elephant was raised in a positive environment. Fa Mai was born into a world where she was loved and cared for. Unlike her poor parents, she was very affectionate with people. Fa Mai was born into a place where there was no violence or abuse committed on elephants by humans, so it was not hard for her to warm up to the people working there. She was able to connect with the staff and Shayer especially. She did not have any memory of cruelty from humans, so she was very trusting and happy to play with the humans in the sanctuary. She was exceptionally close to Shayer, and the pair soon became inseparable. They were always together if she was in the sanctuary. If you want to see if this friendship is the real deal, then there are many videos of these two playing around and being silly. The Sanctuary has released a few clips of these two in action, proving just how bonded they are. There's one video where Fa Mai pulls Shayer closer to her using her trunk. Fa Mai then ends up giving a very big kiss to her beloved caretaker. This was her way of letting her know that she appreciates Shayer for her efforts in keeping her healthy and happy. There is another sweet ritual that this duo does that will surely make you feel warm in your heart. There is a special way that Shayer puts Fa Mai down for a nap, which really does prove the duo's undying love for each other. Ever since Fa Mai was still a baby, Shayer has done this to make sure the elephant fell asleep. 
She had always used this technique to soothe elephants to sleep till now, and Famai doesn't expect anything else when the time comes for her to take her daily naps. There was one video uploaded to YouTube that has showcased the special routine that Famai and Shaye follow during nap time. So what really happens when it's time to hit the sack? Well, when Fa Mai gets ready to start sleeping, Xiaoye takes out a scarf and would hum lullabies in the elephant's ear to calm her down. She would try to sing the sweet elephant to sleep and be as comforting as she possibly can. However, there is another uncommon thing they like to do. This image would make it all the more confusing. What does Xiaoye do to the elephant? Xiaoye would continue her lullaby singing softly in Fa Mai's ears, then she would take her scarf, using it to swat Fa Mai's backside. To most people, this would be an alarming sight, but it is not an act of cruelty at all. Fa Mai actually loves the feeling of being tapped by the scarf and even helps her sleep better. Such a strange way of trying to get someone to fall asleep, isn't it? Then the elephant starts to feel sleepier with each swat. Shaye continually swats Fa Mai while still humming, and then it would eventually lead to the elephant slowly resting on her hind legs. In the end, Fa Mai would slowly lie down on her side, and then Shaye would move closer and closer to Fa Mai's ears, singing and calming him all the more. The video shows just how much the elephant enjoys this ritual, and she seems to be on cloud nine whenever her caretaker does this. So then Shaye places herself right next to the elephant while still continuing to tap her behind and sing her tunes into the elephant's ear. She tries her best not to make any sudden movements as it would automatically alarm her dear elephant. The longer she does this, the closer the elephant is to dozing off. The elephant would eventually give out loud snores and sounds when she falls asleep. The only sound that comes out in the end is Fa Mai's very loud snores. Who can say they have seen an elephant being sung and cradled to sleep by a human being? This is truly one of the most uncommon incidents to ever happen in history, because not a lot of people can say they actually sing elephants to sleep. When the footage was released, it quickly went viral and everyone wanted to know more about this incredible pair of friends. Many found it fascinating that the caretaker has found such an unconventional way of getting an elephant to fall asleep. Six million people have seen the video on YouTube, and it's growing every day. This is so touching, said one person who commented on the now viral video of Fa Mai and her sweet elephant. The voice is so soothing and the brushing of the cloth must feel so good to the dear beast. I wonder if it reminds the elephant of mom's ears, perhaps? Elephants are great souls. We all know that elephants are by nature very calm and collected animals who do not really pose threats to other living beings around them, but Fa Mai's friendliness is next level. But then, the method that Shaye had used might not be so absurd after all. In fact, it has been discovered that the elephant's reaction to her soothing is quite normal. There was a study conducted on animals which revealed that classical music can actually help calm and soothe animals that have been kept in captivity by humans. The researchers also found that there was a difference in the patterns of behavior of different kinds of elephants. Elephants are incredibly sensitive beasts, says David Field. He is an accomplished zoological director of London Zoo who spoke to the press on this topic. He had done some extensive research on this topic and his observations are more than surprising. He does not find it at all shocking himself when the results of this study came out, because he is aware that there are many animals that are super sensitive and observant. Elephants happen to be one of the most hypersensitive animals in the world. Their appreciation of noise communication is far beyond our hearing range, Field further stated when he addressed this topic to the interviewers. He also added a few insights in relation to this study and revealed some facts about elephants, saying, they communicate in deep infrasonic vibrations, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if classical music has this calming effect. He had found that elephants are very loyal and perceptive, so he does not question their sensitivity one bit. Even after all these reports have been published, there are still so many people who believe that there is something special about Shire. They are convinced that she is a certain way, a touch with elephants that other humans do not possess. She'd even been dubbed the Elephant Whisperer by many who believe that she had a way with them, that she and elephants can communicate. Shaye, however, claims that she just treats elephants with respect and care, and nothing more or less. I never think elephant is an animal, I think they're a person, so that is why when I talk to them, I treat them like my family. Shaye has revealed when she was asked about her relationship with elephants. She went ahead and even said, 
We understand even if we speak a different language, but we do understand each other. She feels that there is no need for a language of any sort as long as they can understand each other. A very deep thought from a very special person.